Hey guys, it's Charles from the Pittsburgh CW Green Team, and I'm standing behind the scenes at the Andy Warhol Museum getting ready for the Alex Ross exhibition. I'm standing with the curator, Jesse Kowalski. Jesse, can you talk about the importance of Alex Ross as an artist and what he brings to the Warhol? Sure, if you've uh, been in a comic book store the last 15 years, then you know the name Alex Ross. Uh, since his work in 1994 with Marvels in DC, he's revolutionized the comic book industry and, uh, and kind of changed the way that people look at superheroes with his use of watercolor paint, whereas people used to use uh, ink and pen, and now they're using uh, computer graphics. Uh, watercolor kind of brings out the beauty and strength of the superheroes. So we have this really great piece that Ross did for the actual Warhol. Can you talk about the value of this piece and what it really brings to the table? When I first proposed the exhibition to Alex, he came to me and said, well, would you like a, me to do a portrait of Andy Warhol? And I said, sure. And uh, he came up with this great portrait of Warhol as a superhero flying through the air. And he proposed that we use it for a, an exhibition poster to commemorate the exhibition of uh, his first museum exhibition. And uh, so in addition to the poster in the museum store, we also produced this uh, exhibition publication comic book uh, format. Uh, for sale for $2.99 in the store. We have a really cool picture here done by Lynette Ross. This is Alex's mother. And what's interesting is looking at it, it almost looks like Batwoman. Can you talk about this? Sure. It was drawn by her uh, in the 1940s when she was starting out as a commercial artist in uh, Chicago. And she uh, drew this just as a doodle. But it's funny to think that this was about 10 years before Batwoman and Batgirl were created. And uh, in the 1970s, when Alex was a child, he would often ask her to draw pictures of uh, Spider-Man, Thor, uh, Superman. And uh, it's kind of funny to think that 30 years after this drawing was created, that Alex would grow up to uh, make a name for himself drawing superheroes. Hey, guys, it's Allie from the Pittsburgh CW Green Team. We're about to go chat with up-and-coming local resident artist here at the Warhol Museum, Christopher Smith. He's doing some big things, so let's go check it out. All right, so you're the local resident comic here at the Warhol Museum. How big of a deal is that? Well, um, it's a huge deal for me. I, I've been with the Warhol for, for a while now, and um, it's, a real, I mean, it's a great honor for me to be a resident comic book artist during this whole uh, exhibition event they have going on. Um, Alex Ross is a huge influence on me. Um, great fan of his work. Alex Ross's art really stuck out to me because you know he has a, a, a really hyper-realistic style. Um, I think to be such a realistic rendered artist, I think his style is still very original. And um, I know me, myself, that influenced me a lot with my style because, you know, I'm really, I know, you know, a lot of people might consider myself a little more cartoony, a little more anime influenced, but, um, you know, I still give a lot, you know, a lot of detail and a lot of rendering that I think was really strongly inf influenced from, from Reed and Alex Ross and stuff. <laughs> CW would certainly like to thank the Andy Warhol Museum. We had a blast, and you can too. Make sure that you check out the Alex Ross exhibition. It's running from October 1st all the way until January 8th, 2012. You guys can also get involved in some weekend factory workshops they have going on. Christopher will be here Saturdays from noon to 4, and then the Superhero Showdown will be here Saturdays and Sundays from noon to 4. For more detail and infos, you guys can visit warhol.org. You have to get down here. It's so unique and just plain fun, really. Absolutely.